welcome back to another video of Ars Bricks. Today I'll be reviewing The Silent Mary from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell the Tales. I haven't seen the movie, but when I saw, I've seen the trailer, and like when I saw this bow, I'm like, please make a like of it, and you're finally us for our third video. We hope you'll enjoy. Please subscribe, and if you would like us to review a special Lego set or uh, like one that you really want us to do, please comment it down below, and we'll try to get that one. And hope you'll enjoy this video. So we're gonna start kind of like we did with our Ninjago boat, Destiny's Bounty. We'll start from the front. We'll move on to right here, and then we'll go under with the under parts. And then we'll also do the back glass, like we did the Ninjago boat. Except for here, we're also going to go into the sails, because you can do some stuff with the sails. Okay, so we're going to start at the front. Right here we have Silent Mary herself, what the boat was named after. That's part of the minifig, so we'll show that close up later. Then we have this sail. And then, like, I really like how they had the attachment, how you could put people on top of all the sails. Well, not that one. But... There is no realistic way how to get up. Unlike with the Ninjago boat, you're not allowed to get on the sails. But with all the cabins, there's a realistic way to get up. So mini figs are accessible right here. You can play with them right here. Not a lot of space, but you can. And I think this is the first time Lego has done a mask like that. I like it. And then again, to the realistic part, no realistic way to get back on here unless Legos aren't actually supposed to be right here. Then, I like how they didn't add one of those golden rims for the balcony, because then it gives it that skeleton and ghost look, because this is a ghost ship. And then as we move along to the side, you'll see, like, kind of not filled in parts right there. They didn't attach a part, like, I'm sure, right there. Right there. And then we're going right here. And then we have our first sail. Then, what I really like how they did with all the masts, this, you can keep it straight or you can move it. I like it crooked, but it's optional. You can keep it straight if you want. And you can put mini figs right here. And then right here, it's pretty cool. They put a box right there. But then, like with all this, I wish they had cylinder all the way up to here. Like the circle piece. I know they couldn't get it in right here because they needed those pieces but I wish they actually, I got a little bit higher with that circle because I like that more than the box. Okay, moving back down from the sail to the kind of main part of the boat. And we have this bell. Not sure what it's for. I think it's like summon the quaking or something. Not sure. Then look down. Cannons. Lots and lots of cannons. And I mean, it's like, this is a lot of cannons. This is probably the most cannons Lego has ever had on one boat. And one comment about this Lego set, if you don't like fragile builds, I wouldn't recommend this video. This is a very fragile set. Okay, so now we're moving right here. And I bet you guys are wondering what those gears are for right there. Well, right now, we are going to show you. So you can actually position the boat from the front however you want to. So it's like you can have a form that was shipwrecked, or there's like a wave coming up, and the boat was tilted. On the box, it showed it. It was fully up like this, but I just put it straight for the review. So we're going to put that back down for now. And I like how they don't have the decks even. We'll show you more of that when we get to the other side of the boat. So we have this kind of moving around, you know, uneven stuff. And this right here, I have no idea what that is. I think switch with like a sculpture of a little minifigure or something like that. And then I like how they put that right there. It gives it kind of like that ghost, the abandoned look. Two more cannons right there. Okay, and you can, this is probably the main part where you can play with minifigs. Then they actually have the full cannon. Like on right, the bottom parts. This is kind of upsetting. There, you actually can't put minifigs on the bottom like I did with that, but there is some, like I did with the other boat. Well, my cousin did. We're going to take turns taking reviews. So, they're, the cannons, they're not fully built. So, unlike right here, right here, they're fully built through the back. Okay, now moving on to this mast. This is my favorite mast. One, like all the other ones, you can move that. Keep it straight if you want. 
then you have you can access minifigures right here and then this mask is the only mask that you can pose like it's broken or like it's been shot down by a cannon that's straight for now and then we're coming back right here again uneven stuff more like more like uneven stuff right here then as we're moving right here we have the steering wheel for like where you drive another mask that can spin not like the other mask then you can't really put mini figs up here but you know okay now we're gonna move on to the bottom of this ship and before i move on to the bottom i want to show you guys something on the side of this cabin that i really appreciate that he did that curve in you can open that up you can't really put mini figs into there. there's only one spot i'll show you that later in the video how you can put mini figs down into there so we're gonna close that up like these the detail of that also okay so now we're gonna move these mini figs we'll show them up closer later and now we're gonna open this up so as you see right there that is act yes that is a shark we can take it off take it off too much we'll show that closer up with the mini figs and then so the whole ship what i was saying by what it's fragile it's also really fragile up and then through the whole the whole thing is standing on these clear pieces yeah and then yeah, all this mechanism stuff i think they just put it to make it like the other lego builds kind of like a more structured thing i don't know why we could have just put straight pieces I'm not sure why they did it like boat rounded edges so come back here these move all of them these things i'm not sure if they couldn't find a different way to attach it or it's supposed to move not sure okay and now we're going to give you kind of a little look at the boat that comes with it it's pretty small let's look at the lantern and there i think that's like where jack sparrow escapes and this lantern really reminds me of the one in the ninjago boat i'm actually wondering why we didn't do this one first because this one is older so yeah now we're gonna turn this around we're gonna show you guys the back of this Sorry for that. So right here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take a mini fig to close up later. Right here, so if you put it in, you're gonna, you have to put his arms out like that. I'm not even sure if you can put him in. Well, yeah, you can. And it's gonna be like this. Yeah, I can't even clip him onto there, so. It's not really a play feature back here. Like, I think it's just more of decoration. I wish they gave you the option of, like, a Ninjago boat. You could take this off. And then there's a cabin in there we could actually fit people into. To the top or something like that. But it looks pretty cool. I thought they give you that ghosty look. Then, again, you're missing pieces right there. So it's on even the other side. They didn't give it that crooked thing right here. Because, of course, you know, there's pieces. And then right here, it's same thing. Got that slanted thing. More cannons. Uh, that person. And then moving up right here, I really like this design. Not like the other part. It's just kind of like that. But right here, they give you that piece. So it kind of goes more smooth down right here. And right now, we're getting uh, more realistic. So we actually have a ladder to get up right here much more realistic and those doors they don't actually open but i'm not sure what is in there uh maybe like some storage space or something like that i don't know now moving on more to the front we have some anchors right here which move up and down i think they're like supposed to shoot down to harpoon ships or something like that not sure and then like the other side, this opens up. And there is another shark. It's identical to the other shark, just if you're wondering. And, you know, there's not really a lot to show you on this set. Because everything is on the top. And then when we show you the minifigs, we'll show you how the shark can fully swallow one. And then, 
Now we're going to kind of do more detailed stuff right here. If you're not interested in details, uh, you might want to fast forward to this spot where we start trying to make figs. So, I like this gold railing right here. I like put it in like that. It makes a really nice design. Then, moving right here, we have this part. Pretty cool. I th it reminds me of eyes. I don't know why. Like, uh, if we, I'm gonna put the camera to the front right now. It looks like eyes and like that's something. And then this is the the big sail that leans forward. I'm gonna put my camera back here. It's kind of like the nose. I don't know why, but kind of reminds me of that. We're gonna sorry. We're gonna put it straight like that. And then the eyes, kind of like these things. They're the whiskers. Eyes back there. That's the nose. I don't know. Maybe not too, but kind of creepy to me. Then we have more sails. I've showed these two already. And coming back to this part, more uneven stuff. If you look through there, you can see mechanism. Bunch of like pieces undetailed pieces and so i got that rim it's uneven like when i show you the other side i'm kind of peeking through there to the captain's quarters nothing in there it just air i could try to fit the minifigure in there then you have this I'm not sure what that's for i think just decoration and then these big columns i'm not either i'm not sure what these are for either I think they might be just for decoration or in the movie, they're bigger so you can actually fit people in there. If you know, if you've seen the movie, please tell us. And so that's kind of it with the ship. It's not really a lot to show you, like I said, because, you know, they don't, there's no bottom story. It's they're just empty on the bottom, so I can just show you the top. So now we're going to move on to the minifigs. So first up, we have Lieutenant Salazar. He, I think, is Captain Salazar's like best person, best, like most trusted lieutenant or something like that. We'll show Captain Salazar later also. He has that sword, some cool prints. I like that hat, the eye patch. Got back, more ripped stuff. Yeah, that's Lieutenant Salazar. He's not my favorite character. I'll show you my favorite character later. Then we have two characters. It said their names in the boxes, but sadly we don't have the box, so I don't know their names. So if you know their names, please comment down below. So on the box it showed this guy. He's like driving the ship. I like that ghosty thing. Like he doesn't have a full upper body, a full like down body. Then he has his pistol uh like one of those classic lego cowboy pistols and then to this guy he has the same hat i really like this hat i wish they put it in more pirate lego sets then he has he, i think he's like the person who cleans up the ship because he comes with the mop and then he is the only character that actually comes with the full clear leg which i really enjoy them putting in next up we have Captain Salazar, and I love this guy's hair. It's like, to the side like that. And then he has like that, those British Spanish shoulder pads coming down with armor all the way here, his sword. More ripped stuff in the back, that ghosty looking to your face like with the other ghost. He's, I think he's angry, looks angry. Okay, now we're moving on to the, um, the good guys of the story. That's what I think. There's Jack Sparrow. He is my favorite character. Or Henry. I still can't decide. I don't know. He has like this bottle of rum. I think it's a bottle of rum. Not sure. Might be like a treasure map. Then he has a sword. His hair. Long hair. That's what I like. That headband. He has like the hair piercings right there. He has the bell. Like that ribbon coming down. So he's a pretty cool character. Next, we have Henry. I think he's Jack Sparrow's sidekick. I'm pretty sure he is. He has a sword. Then he has more stylish hair. Unlike Jack Sparrow. It's long, though. It's like British hair. 
then he has a pretty cool looking uh thing right there it's like really modern i'm not sure why he would have that in the sea but then when you look to the front on his shirt he kind of looks like a pirate like that necklace then just ordinary green pants next we have uh karina i think she's henry's sister i'm not sure because i've seen the first movie and i think that's karina and she's his sister here we have she has like the telescope the compass then instead of legs they give her that dress piece so if I take off her hair, there's nothing, well, there is something there. She's the only character with the second face. That's an angry face, and then she has like that back prints right there. Then, um, I kind of feel sad for her because she can't sit. Like, they gave her this dress piece, and she can't sit. Then, that dress coming down. And yeah, that was Karina. And now, like we promised, we're going to give you a more detailed look at the sharks. They have like that ripped bone. They look like they're dead, came back to life or something like that. And now we're gonna show you how a whole person can barely fit in there. So our test subject is Henry. Goodbye, Henry, you're gonna die. Um, I'm gonna stuff him down into there. Let me try, we've done this before when we practiced. Yeah, right there, he comes in, goes his mouth. Then you can see him through the bones by Henry being digested. Yeah, so that's how they can fit into the shark. Then I'm gonna take him out. And that's it with the characters. So now I'm gonna show you the parts that I don't like and the parts that I really like. Okay, so I like this mask. First time, I think this, I'm not sure. We haven't got the brick bounty yet, but I've seen the box. I don't remember. I think this is the first time Lego has done a mask like this really like it then I also like how this mask moves and you can actually unlike the destiny's bounty the ninjago boat you can put characters up here like watchtowers and I also like how they have that curved thing right there and how this itself looks like it's pretty cool and how all of them move okay and now to the parts that I don't really like so first up in here the clear things that are holding up the whole ship I don't like that I wish they built a full bottom or like a they fully skeletoned it in with these pieces I don't really like that at all or they could have just like fully built it in like that and then put these clear pieces without this just that part onto the bottom you wouldn't really see that then another part that I don't like is these gears. I don't like how they look. I wish they hit them so when the ship moves up like that. And right now we're gonna give you a closer look at Silent Mary. She is another character that I don't really like. I feel like she should have just been a mask. She would have been included as a character. Not that of a cool character, not much to show. But yeah, that's Silent Mary. I'm not sure if she's that silent because on the booklet it said she comes into a terrifying rage. So, not too sure about that. Another thing that I don't really like is, like I said, like again I said, you can't access minifigures down there. And then, that, because if you could, I bet they, I hope they would make these cannons fully built. And then the last thing that I don't like about the ship is how you cannot take off this part and put characters inside there. And yeah. That is our review of the Silent Mary Pirates of the Caribbean ship. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe or hit the like button. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.